Welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today we're diving into something really exciting for all you creators out there that want to bring your ideas to life, but might feel a little bit intimidated by 3D modeling. Let's talk about Rodan Gen 1 by Demos Tech. Now imagine being able to create detailed 3D models from just a simple text description or a simple PNG photo. No need to master complex software. No need to spend hours learning modeling techniques. Sounds like a dream, right? Nope, Rodan Gen 1 is here to transform that dream into a reality. Developed by the innovative minds at Demos Tech, Rodan is not just any 3D tool, it's a powerful AI that understands your text input and transforms it into detailed production-ready 3D assets. Why does this matter? Well, it means anyone, regardless of their technical skills, can jump into 3D creation. Whether you're a game developer, a filmmaker, or just someone who loves creating, Rodan opens up a world of possibilities. Take me, for example. I'm very basic when it comes to 3D modeling, but with Rodan, even I can create my own 3D models and then download those files, and then I can print them off on my 3D printer. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are. The website is hyperhuman.demos.com. This is Rodan Gen 1, which is utilizing a native 3D large generative model with over 1.5 billion parameters, and it aims to create production-ready 3D assets. If you know anything about these assets, one thing is that Rodan aims to create productivity-ready 3D assets and place a significant emphasis on structures, wireframes, and PBR textures. Now, if you don't don't understand any of that, don't worry because I'm going to show you how you can get started creating a 3D model of your own. So right on the main page, you can see a number of really cool models that have already been published. Let me go ahead and click on this one to open it. And if you look over to the right, you can see the prompt that was used to create this as well as the material generation. Now from here, you can download this if you want, but what I want to do is actually create my own 3D model. So I'm going to use the first option and that is text input. We've all seen chat GPT and those type of generative models. You can do the same thing with Rodan, but instead of generating text, we are going to generate a 3D model, which we can then edit later. Okay, so here's mine, a gorilla wearing sunglasses surfing on a surfboard. So by doing this, you can generate a example of a model. Now, if you don't like the one that's generated, you can continue to refresh until you find one that you like. So let's say that this is one that I want to use. I'd like to create this 3D model. So I'm going to select this option and I'm going to choose generate. All right, here is my gorilla that I want to be able to generate. Now, if you're wondering why it doesn't look in color like this, it's because this is just a preview. Now, I think this looks pretty good, but if you're looking for something even more specific, you have options to add and make your image have even more detail by choosing some of these options below, which are suggested, or you can type your own in here and redo it. But again, I'm just a beginner and I think this looks pretty good. I wanna generate my gorilla on the surfboard. So I'm going to select this option. Is this object symmetrical? I'm going to say yes. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to have my awesome 3D model of the gorilla. All right, so here's how it looks. It looks pretty similar to the last time. Again, don't get caught up because it doesn't look like this yet. We still have to generate that. A few different options I have at the bottom where it says pack, I can choose to pack only the geometry or both the geometry and the material. But again, I'm just going to leave this the way it is and I'm going to select generate. Okay, there are some additional options where you can adjust the PBR temperature or the reference strength, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is and I am going to select generate. Again, this will cost one credit and we'll talk about that plan in a second, but let's wait and see how our model looks. Boom, there it is. Here is the model of our gorilla surfing on a surfboard. And if this isn't what I want, there is an option where I can select redo and just completely regenerate this. But I like how it looks. I'm going to download that STL file and in just a few seconds, I should have this file and I'm going to be ready to print. 
Okay, so there's one more use that I do want to share with you. I showed you the text input option, but you can also take an image and make an image into a 3D model. So this is my dog, Joey. It's just an image. I was able to grab him out of there using preview on my Mac, but there's lots of ways to do this. So I have one image. I have the white background. I want to create a 3D model of my dog, Joey. So, so from here, I'm going to select the plus button and upload that file. There it is. I think this looks awesome. Let me go ahead and generate generate this image. Now you can use either a JPEG or a PNG file. It's best if you have an image behind a white background. And if there's only one object in your folder, it makes it a lot easier to identify what you want to create the model of. All right, there you go. There is our 3D model of Joey. It looks really good. Now, if this wasn't perfect, there are ways that you can easily adjust this model. You can see over here, this is the prompt that was automatically created from the photo that I uploaded. But if I wanted to change something about this, like let's say that Joey had a medium bushy tail, I could add that here and then redo this model and I'd get a brand new generation that would incorporate the text that I added over here. But I'm not going to because I think that this is a really good model. So I'm going to select confirm and in just a few minutes you'll see the next version of Joey. Okay so here is the next step. Again I'm just going to select generate and let's see what the final version of Joey will look like. There it is. There is the 3D model that I was able to generate from just uploading a photo in about a minute. I think this looks really awesome. Now, one of the things that you will notice, which is interesting, is you can see that Joey even has the different colored eyes that are in this picture. It's a little tough to see in the picture, but it just shows you the level of detail that Rodan provides. Of course, again, if this wasn't what I want, there are ways that I could go change this and regenerate if I want. But I think this looks awesome from here. I want to download my model. I'm going to select download, and then I'm going to have something pretty cool to put on my desk after I print it. And then I'll print this with, and then I'm going to send this to my 3D printer and have a really cool item to put on my desk. So that's it. This is Rodan Gen 1, an awesome site. Whether you're a beginner or you're an experienced creator of 3D models, you can really do a lot with this program, and I think you're going to like it. So thank you so much for watching EdTech Hustle. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment area below, and I'll do my best to get them.